It's March. It's early March. Frankly, it's barely March. For most of Europe right now, there aren't many two or die games. There are teams in relegation struggles. There are teams trying to maintain their playoff push. But not much is on the line right now. Except here. We're in UCD, a very familiar place to visitors this channel, because Trilly Warriors are up for an absolute must-win game to have any chance, really, of making it to the postseason in Ireland. They were champions only a season ago, and now they are trying to make sure they just make the playoffs at the fourth and last spot in the Southern Conference. They're playing Northern Conference cellar dwellers UCD, who were champions five years ago. Like, less than five years ago, they were crowned champions of Ireland. And they're guaranteed to be in the playoff to stay up here in the Super League. It's wild time for it here. So, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be fascinating. Two teams with very different stakes here. UCD just trying to build some momentum before the relegation playoff. For Lee, fighting for their season. Crazy times. Crazy, crazy times. Last break! So half time here, you see the up by five, and it's very odd because they're the team, obviously with no pressure, they're already guaranteed to be playing in the relegation playoff, but for Lee, very, very, very sort of like trickly on offense. They went 19-8 up, but in mid-first quarter. Since then, they had a 19-0 run against them. They managed to score 16 second quarter, not exactly high-powered offense. They need a much better second half here, really do. Two point four on the clock. Gets it up. And in. For Lee, up by it'll be fifteen. But ten to play. So we're gonna hear from the coaches in a second. Just a quick reminder before we do, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm gonna remind you again of that after we hear from the coaches, but we really need to get those subs up. But first, the victorious coach, the man who uh, had what he will tell you was some choice words for Lee, John Dowling. So, what on earth did you say at halftime? Because there were two very different performances. Yeah, a uh, lot of choice words, I suppose. Uh, can't be saying publicly, but you know, we like, not that we ever came up and underestimated anyone, but um, like we just they were we weren't at it the first half like you know they were full credit 
they were absolutely going in for everything. All the young guys showed no fear, which I told our guys they would. They don't care who we are. They had no fear. Coach has done a great job with them all year, being unlucky with some results, you know. But uh, and this is the hardest place. We have some fond memories and some bad memories here. So at half time, I'll be honest, I was worried. Uh, but in third quarter, we responded defensively, you know. That's been our... When we play poor defensively all year, that's, that's what's been poor for us. But look... You know, we're happy to get out with the win and set up whatever happens next week. Next week. And I was going to say, you've got W tonight, which means you need another win next week. You know, and there's all sorts of permutations as well, even with that. So, like, what's the next week going to be like for you guys getting ready for that? Yeah, yeah, look, we'll, uh, uh, you know, it's a good, tough game for us. So, you know, we'll have to take stock tomorrow and obviously watch Neptune as they will with us. We, we know him very well from last year and uh, just try and get ourselves right and just be at peak and hopefully uh, in the complex next week if we know it's going to be packed hopefully it can be um, something we can pull away with the win um, but look it's been a hell of a, a start to the year this year yeah. calendar year apart from last year but uh, so look we're, we're happy where we are we're in with a chance to get in and one last word like Daniel tonight fantastic performance in him like you know has he been sort of you know carrying you guys a bit lately absolutely 100% and you know he, he got a he got a kind of you know, two weeks ago he was unlucky with an second on sportsman like and put him out last week. So I knew he was going to come even hungrier. And he's a big game player. Um, you know, he's the heartbeat of our, of our offense when it goes stale. He kind of he'll make those tough shots that you know people would say for him to not take. But we never tell Jack not to take a shot. Can you take anything from this when you're planning towards the upcoming playoff at all? Uh, yeah, like it's we we play. I think for like two and a half quarters we play very very well. And after that, we ran out of gas. Uh, fortunately, we didn't have the depth in, uh, in our bench like, to be able to keep up with, uh, with Rally. So, yeah, but in general, like, we're very, very happy for the two and a half quarters. And, like, obviously, you've got one more game before the playoff game uh, coming up. Like, what are you going to try and do next week just to be ready for that game? Yeah, the last couple of weeks, uh, realistically, we're using now all these games uh, as a preparation for the playoff game. Uh, so we're not going to change anything. We focus on ours. We try to uh, to execute as as best we can offensively and defensively, and uh, we're going to try to be ready for uh, for the game of the, the last game of the season. So to really get that win, necessary one, huge second half performance. As John Dowling said, uh, he had to have some choice words with the guys, and uh, no doubt about that. Giannis Apikas obviously. Stoic for him. He's been stoic a lot this season. He's going to have one game, which can change everything in a couple of weeks. And uh, quite a crazy finish all, all in store. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the channel. We really need to get the subs up. Uh, once we get to a 1,000, things will be a lot easier for us in this channel uh, to produce even more content for you. Uh, I know it's been quite a while. And uh, obviously, tell your friends. Ask uh, them to subscribe. Let's keep it growing, keep it going. And thank you again. And see you very, very, very soon.